Hey guys, good morning. Dave Santorelli here from Santorelli Trading Exchange, BreakingChartAlerts.com, Stock Options Trading Academy. And Frank's here. Good morning, uh, guys. As you guys can see, the office is a little different uh, from the last time you guys saw. We expanded, we broke down some malls, we put up our logo colors here. Uh, we had a nice pop in the market yesterday. I'm looking at our symbols today, our, our trades we're in. Facebook's up. I mean, we're up $1,000 already today on Facebook GE. Um, let's see here. Snapchat's back in the green now. Walmart's in the green today. So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna go over a few things here and uh, get started for the trading day. Got big earnings coming up this week, guys. Uh, sorry about yesterday when they took the wall down, they, uh, they cut out the cables there for the internet and for the phone. So they're saying there's an echo. Probably those. Are they connected to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, take those off. That you can't use them and then at the same time. Just put it up. Alrighty, guys, is that echo gone now? Let me know if that echo is gone. Alrighty guys, is the echo gone now? Please let me know if that echo is gone. I wanna make sure everything's fine here before we move on. Alrighty Garrett, yep, it's gone now. Alrighty, sorry about that. Let's get started. Let's share the uh, screen here and uh, let's get started for the day. Alrighty, so first things first guys, you see Facebook here, you know, we're in the Facebook June 19th, 190 strike call. We're up 8% overall on that today. Uh, we were up more on I that yesterday, but we have earnings five. coming up on uh, tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, hey, Wednesday, Facebook earnings are coming out. So I think I'm going to hold that into Facebook earnings. Uh, I'll see how Google reports. Google's reporting today after the bell here. So yeah, we're going to take a look at now. Google. If Google gets a nice pop after the bell, uh, I think I'm going to hold my Facebook trade into There's earnings. As you can see here on, news. Um, on Facebook, you can see it's still in breakout momentum. It's holding above that 10-day simple moving average. Here's a 10-20 cross back on April 3rd. It's holding it above that Better 10, retraces down to that 10, and she gets another pop. So it's still in breakout momentum. Facebook still looking good. And we have plenty of time for the June uh, 19th, 2020 Expo. We're now up 11% on our Facebook trade that we have uh, as she continues to climb. We could go to a, a daily chart here. As you can see, Facebook's just breaking above that 10, 20, 50 SMA. Uh, if we could see a break above 189, we might get a nice run again today. I'm looking forward to get up, up to about 195 prior to earnings and back over 200 after earnings here so there's that now let's take a look over to the right here on snapchat so snapchat here's a six month daily we can change it to a three month daily chart here and as you can see snapchat still holding above that 10 it's usually retracing back down to that 20 then having that big climb, retracing back down to that 20 big climb. Now here's the thing we're watching on Snapchat. Snapchat, what we have up here on the chart, we have our two resistance areas, okay? So we have resistance right at around, right at around 17, let's say 17.25. And then we have our second one right at around 18. So next few days here, we're gonna be watching Snapchat, see if it could break above that. If it can't break above that and we get a red candle below that previous candle's body on a daily chart, that's when we'll take profits for the short term on Snap and look to re-enter. So we have the July 17, 2020, 17 strike call on Snapchat. So that's looking great. We're in the green on that and I'm gonna be holding on to that. Facebook trade still rising. There goes Facebook continuing that climb. We're now up 12% on the Facebook trade, 13% on the Facebook trade. 
14% on Facebook. There she goes. She's breaking out now again. Nice climb for the day. I told you if we could break that 181, uh, we should get a nice climb for the rest of the day here. So keeping in a look on that. Now, our trade challenge trade. I want to go over that with you guys quick. A lot of questions about that. So first off, guys, uh, we've stabilized. We've been holding above two bucks uh, a share on USO. If we take a look at the three month daily here, we had three dollars as our stop, but we had some uh, things come up, and uh, I decided to hold on to that. I, I think we're going to get a nice pop here as the states open back up for business, and as we see the demand climb, as consumers go out, start spending, start traveling again. Uh, we're going to see that continue to climb. And what I'm probably going to do, I was talking to a friend about that today. CPI I was saying, what was I saying? Don't, I think I'm going to add maybe double or triple to that once I see that uh, climb start to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, it might not happen until, you know, it might not happen until, when they open. it might not happen until end of May, mm -hmm. maybe even June. But once I yeah, see that climb start to happen, yeah, then I'm great. probably, right now I have about, it was about a fourth, well, this is the other account here, but in the other account where we have 10 contracts, so I might add another 10 contracts on that first pop, and then if it continues to break out momentum for a week, I might add another 10 contracts to the trade challenge. Trade. So there's, now there's a total of 11 um, states that are open in here. 11 states? Make sure you're talking into your 11 mic. 11 states, yeah. Bring that back out to you. Put it more towards you there, yeah. Could you guys hear a frame pretty well? 3M's hat has earnings today. Yeah, so guys, we printed out our daily newsletter here. Here's the newsletter. Uh, you guys should check that out. I think he, po he posted it in the trade room. Yeah, it's in the trade room, and it's also posted on the site, and it was sent out as a, um, as a newsletter. So again, USO, what I'm looking for, we have a long-term trade on USO here. So we have the USO... Uh, United States Oil Fund, January 15th, 2021, four-strike call. Okay, we're down about 70% on that trade right now, but that's only because of that big uh, tank we've seen in oil. And what's going to happen now, once we see the economy start to open, states open back up, uh, demand's going to climb, and that's going to be a great trade to add to uh, once the time's right here. So that's my plan with that. I'm going to be adding... Uh, for rubble, rubble, for the rubble, USO rubble, once I feel the times right I won't add just yet you know because we are probably still gonna see some more short-term volatility from now until mid-may when OPEC has its next meeting so I expect Chamber that to Congress, go well and like uh, I said Chamber as the world says, opens back up for business I think uh, we'll start to see a nice climb in that over the next month business. next month you should see a nice uh, climb from where we're at here on USO Snapchat still continuing to rise here. Let's take a look at a today one minute chart on Snapchat coming down to that 20 SMA we were talking about before on a today one minute and she's starting to climb again here. Let's take a look at Facebook, see what that's doing. GE is getting a really nice pop today. Let's take a look at GE quick. I'm up $300 on the GE trade. So guys, take a look at GE. We have the first candle above that 10 day simple moving average on a three month daily chart here. Uh, if we could get a candle above seven, I'm probably gonna be adding to my GE trade. Now, you guys remember, we have the January 21st, 2022, 10-strike call on General Electric. We're down 14% on that trade right now. Uh, it's starting to climb, and like I said, I'm probably going to be adding to that trade MNSC as we climb above 7 average. bucks. And I'm going to look for a short-term target of about 8 and I'll probably take That's profits on that since I have about uh, $6,000 in that trade. Uh, there goes Snapchat, as you can see. Climb it again off that 10-day simple moving average on a today one-minute chart. I think we're going to continue to see the markets climb here as the states are opening up. What do you think, E? We're going to definitely see yeah. A lot of the economies. <laughs> Look at the upgrades you saw, Ross. Yeah, Ross Stores was upgraded. Six Flags was up upgraded as well too. Shares of Monster in Beverage. Georgia. But traders are citing now that that uh, press release causing a drop in shares of Monster Beverage. Monster and Beverage, you guys hear that? Now at fifty nine seventy three. So if you guys take a look here, here's the Diamond ETF, right? Here's the three month daily chart for Diamond. Let me zoom out a little bit on here i don't want to go too much though there we go all right so for short term i'm going to be looking at dow twenty five thousand again so that's going to be about another 600 point climb on the dow i think we could do that this week if 
if things are optimistic. So you guys know, here's your daily newsletter right here. You guys know there's big earnings coming up this week. This is Super Bowl Jeez. earnings for tech. We got all the major tech companies reporting. So, you know, if they just say, hey, you know, uh, COVID, it hurt us for the past, the first quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, it might impact second quarter, but uh, things are looking optimistic now. And, and, you know, I think then that little bit of optimism, that's going to cause a nice spike in the mm -hmm. markets there. Yep. Yep. You know, so we'll see how things go but i think uh i think markets are going to continue to climb here yeah it's a big week this week guys so here's another thing smaller accounts if you have smaller accounts or if you are a new trader you know take this week watch what we do Coming you know, up analyze the markets because if you're trading the earnings are going to make the market pop or drop April. You know, so it's a it's, it's a coin CD flip during earnings. April. So you know, you got to be cautious. You got to be careful. I was that. thinking about doing a trade on Google today, a small little uh, earnings trade on Google. But yeah, a trade after the bell. Yeah. I Report personally, the bell, yeah. I personally don't like to trade earnings. It's no, see, I, I like putting a Those. little bit into earnings. You know. I like that thrill a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Not much, but ones that I feel confident when. The IOC, yes. BioSep, yeah. seeing some big definitely now. shares moving higher, forty-six cents on, probably via Oscar Charlie Company. Uh, so Arvom says yeah, USO is a reverse split eight for one for tomorrow. What will happen? You'll see your option chains. Uh, they'll update, and or you'll see. There's a couple things that could happen. Either they'll adjust the option chain. Or they'll give you the eight for one uh, contracts and so readjust the strikes. Good morning, getting a pop here to the high. Tango Uniform, Echo Sandy. 3M has earnings. I know they've been making all the COVID safety equipment. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, let's they take a look at 3M here quick. They beat earnings. Oh, they had earnings this morning, mm -hmm. yeah. BSC so many here. Them. 3M looks like that's going to continue to run to 170. You know? Let's take a look at the option chain. Maybe we could do something with 3M for going out a little bit further. Now that earnings are over, I think that's a, a safer, lower risk trade setup. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be good for some newer traders up, here. 5% right now? Uh, let's see, they're up 5.11%. Let's bring up the option chain here. I'm looking at, so what I'm doing now on 3M, I'm looking at the next resistance levels because we're at resistance number one right here at around 63. 63 to 65 is resistance one on 3M, which we're at right now. Resistance number two is going to be right at around 170 resistance three 175 so we got plenty of room to run here she's pulling back a little bit so let's take a look at the today one minute if she retraces down to this blue 20 sma on a today one minute and then we get that confirmation green candle pop then i'm going to enter into this trade so you guys could have your order entries ready here 3m we're going to be making a trade on 3m here so be ready, be President prepared Trump trade room texas to open businesses in phases beginning friday great job being done by Greg Abbott, that from Donald Trump. So Donald Trump said Abbott's doing a great job opening up the economy, Abbott. but he doesn't like the uh, the Democratic uh, governor that's opening it up. <laughs> <laughs> Abbott, we love Abbott. I know, right? All right, so 3M. I'm looking at the June 19th Expo. Uh, let's see here. here. Daily briefing now. I think the 160, 165 is probably a little bit more affordable for you guys. Okay, so June 19th, 165. 165 strike call. Uh, that's gonna go NBC for last trade 470. Therapeutics pricing there. Let's say 4.9. See if we can get filled for about 4.9. I'll get five shares, contracts for now. It's going to be, what, about a $2,500 trade? Sandy Echo. We're getting that pop on 3M right now, so I'm going to jump in. Let's see if I can get in for 4.9. Let's see. Order status. 
that's live that order here that's live so I'm gonna change that shares of new base now at 727 down about 11 percent pricing they're offering at six dollars per I'll share go to 510 that's the most I'll pay there oh wait let me see what it's doing here it's holding below that let's see five bucks See if she gets down to 160, we could get a better price here. Okay, 3M was filled. At what? Uh, I filled at 4.90, but they could get in for 4.70. I didn't cancel that order. I was clicking change. I could have got a better fill on that. I could have got 475. Alrighty, guys, so here is the order status. 165, June 19th, call 470. Uh, that is for the MMM, June 19th, 165 call. And we're in at 4.9, but they could get I they could get a much better. Yeah, they could even get less now. French Prime Minister said the wearing of masks at work must be implemented when social distancing cannot be guaranteed. Okay, so that filled, guys, we're filled. 4.90 and we're in that's for the june expo i got five contracts I, if this could break above 165 i'm going to add another and put that down too if it could break above 165 i'm going to uh, double my position on it so What's now you're going to stop on those so my target and stop uh let's see 3m my target's going to be about 170 Possibly 175. 170 to 175. Stop. Stop is going to be a candle below, let's say 155. Snapchat's pulling back here. France announcing plans to reopen shops beginning May 11th. France is out reopening May 11th. Wow, they were hit hard That's too. That's not bad. Yeah, talk to them. Give them your thoughts there. What do you think? France was hit really hard. They're still on. Weren't they still spiking in their death tolls and everything? I wonder what their peak was. Did they hit their peak? It's crazy how a lot of states are reaching their peak and they're opening up now. I know. Very scary. 3M's pulling back quite drastically here. See if it's going to come back down to that 50 and climb from there. If it does, I might add a couple contracts sooner. Let's take a look at Google, see what that's doing. I was thinking about doing a smaller earnings trade on Google here. Google's still in breakout momentum. It's still holding above that 10 SMA, but it's flattening out consolidation right now. <coughs> Excuse Push. me. That's a nice break out there on Google from that 1020 cross. You say you want to jump in a Google trade later? I wanted to do an earnings trade on Google, yeah. What would what would you uh, look at? So if I was looking at Google, I'd probably do something like an in the money vertical spread. So let's bring spread. up the yeah. I would nice. I would not. I mean, you'd be silly to do Lower regular risk. calls. Lower risk. Lower risk. First, let's see what the option premiums are like. See the option premiums are 
insanely high for this. So let's see here. So if you wanted to do a spread, buy to open, sell to open. So you guys know how spreads work, right? Guys, in the YouTube chat, do you guys know how spreads work? Give me a, a yes or a no here in the YouTube chat. Or in the, well, I know you guys on, on the website, Breaking Chart Alerts, know how spreads work. You guys are, are trained well by us. But if you guys, let me know in the YouTube chat here. You guys know how spreads work? You want me to go over that quick? Or you pretty yeah. much got it? How, what I would like to know is um, the risk. How is it lower risk than the regular? Well, because, spread? okay, so let's take a look at that now. So if we did a May 1st Expo for this week, right? Let's say we did... I'm using this other screen because my uh, my broadcasting software couldn't bring up the other screens here, so I have to come in a little bit more here. But let's see. So if I did the let's say 1260, 1265 vertical spread here, right? Let's let's change that up. Let's even do the 1255, 1260. Okay. So as you can see, that's going for about two dollars and eighty-five cents right now, right? That's the midpoint. So the max this could be worth is the difference between the two strikes. The, so the difference between 1255 and 1260 is how much? Five dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So if that could be worth five, you're picking it up for 2.85. Five divide that by 2.85. That's a max net gain of 75.44%. So right now, if you got filled for a net debit 2.85, if you did that, your max net gain is about 75%. All you need is Google to be above 1260 a share by May 1st, and you're gonna have that 75% return. Right now, Google's at 1266.12. So it could even drop six bucks, and you're still gonna make that 75%. If it stays where it's at, you're still gonna make 75%. If it climbs, you're gonna make 75%. So that's the beauty of that. Um, you know, it could stay where it's at, it could drop a little bit, mm -hmm. or it could climb, and you're going to make 75% if you got in at 285, right? Now, here's the thing. You only needed it above 1260 a share there, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you just picked up the, and the max you could lose on that spread there is what you have invested. So if you got one contract for 290 bucks, that's your max bucks. loss, 290 yeah. bucks. And your max loss is if Google's below 1255 on your expiration date, May 1st. Mm -hmm. So if it's below 1255 and you didn't sell that by 4 p.m., well, you got 100% loss. Your 100% loss, max loss is what you have invested. So if you had one contract, your max loss is $285 if you got 285. It's at 290 now. Mm -hmm. But so one contract, max loss is 290. You know, that's not too bad with the spread. Now here's the thing. You get a call. Now one contract of the spread is going to cost 295 bucks. Now if you look at the basic contract here and we do that same thing, call may 1st let's say the 1260 look at what it's going for you know you have a last traded of 39.43 that's almost four thousand dollars for a single contract now here's the thing yeah. for you to break even let's say this is 40 bucks okay to make this round it, it's 39.43 but if we put 40 dollars, that means you need it at your break evens your strike price plus premium per paid so 1260 plus 40 you need it at 1300 dollars just to break even and then another 40 for 100% return. So you need it at 1340 for 100% return. Whereas with the spread, we need it at 1260 or higher mm -hmm. for that max gain. And it's at 1267 now. So much less risk. Um, A lot cheaper. Much cheaper. And you're much more leveraged with the spreads yeah. than the calls, mm -hmm. especially going into earnings. Now, if it wasn't earnings and I expected uh, breakout momentum to continue, then I just get a More call secured. and I do something a month or two out. But with the premiums being so high for earnings and with us knowing what's happening with COVID, I'm not going to take that chance and risk $4,000 for not. a single contract uh, when you know I could get a spread that could have no move, it could drop, or it could climb, Stay and insane. I still get that 75%. Whereas if I got that call, it could climb 5%. And I'm, I might still lose money. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's how expensive these premiums are. Mm -hmm. You know, the IV has increased drastically here, here for earnings. 
because uh, you know I, I mean it's just unknown what they're going to report here so yeah. that's why you're seeing that so expensive so that's really important that you know that because a lot of people if i make a spread trade if i do a, a spread a vertical spread you know some new traders will say oh i'm just going to pick up the calls and you know they're two totally two different trades way way totally different trades and different risk uh setups Max there loss on naked spreads i mean naked calls are well no it's it's your max is still what you have invested but if you have one contract and it's four grand mm -hmm. you know you're going to take a little bit more of a hit compared mm -hmm. to 195 dollar trade you know so mm -hmm. so for smaller accounts say less risk spreads is the way to go absolutely smaller if, accounts, if, especially risk. if you're uh you know doing something like an earnings trade now if the iv is low and it's not too expensive mm -hmm. you know then i'll jump in you know like Sometimes Microsoft's pretty cheap. You know, banks, financials are usually dirt yep. cheap. I'm watching and the background here. Snap's still breaking down here. Markets are still breaking down. But that's how that spread works. That's how the call works. And um, if I do a trade on Google today for earnings, I'm going to be doing a spread. Yeah, and those, and those that are watching, we have a great video on how to enter spreads on our YouTube um, videos. Go check it out. Great, great video on how to open up spreads, how it, how it works, and... On, you know, break-even points, how to determine that. So check it out. Take a look at 3M here again, guys. Take a look. So it came back down almost to about the uh, 50 SMA. It came down to 158 support. 158 is climbing. It's now climbing back above that 10, 20 SMA now. She's breaking out our 3M trades now almost back in the green. I was just down a quick $500 on that 3M trade, and now I'm only down about uh, 90 bucks on it. So markets are starting to climb here again off the lows. Uh, let's see tech take off here. Uh, Diamond's up 300 points right now. Dow's up 300 points. And um, markets are looking pretty good. NASDAQ's up 51. S&P's up 33.85. Looking good, guys. I always like looking, too. We got uh, CNBC on the background mm -hmm. here. But I always I, I put the volume off. You know, I don't want that to be distracting. But... I always like looking on there, seeing if anything's moving. What? Yep. Did we get those uh, those things sent out with with the charts and everything already? Yeah. Wow, that was yeah. quick. With the current. Nice. Oh. He's getting uh, <laughs> he's getting really quick here with those alerts. <laughs> sent out the email, the text, trade room, picture. Real real time, no delay here. Wow. Let's see. Vinny says he's up 18% on his 3M trade already. Nice job, Vinny. No, not the trade alert. That one's going down now. That wasn't out? The text alerts. Why wasn't the email one? Huh? It's going out now. M still climbing here. Look at that taking off there. 1020 crosses coming up. Snap still breaking lower here. That 3M trade's almost green right now, guys. That's going to be a beauty, I think, as the, the markets reopen up here. And, um, you know, I mean, they just reported an earnings there and they're making all the protective equipment. So I think that's going to continue to climb from here on out. 3M is definitely looking like a good buy. All right, USO just turned green for the day. Here we go. USO turned green for the day, starting to climb there. We'll keep an eye on that. 1020 Cross is coming up here on 3M.
Richmond Manufacturing Index minus 53 in April versus my, uh, plus two in March. CB Consumer Confidence. Ninety three point eight versus eighty six point eight in March. Look at three M, look at that big candle there on three M. Nice. It's taking off here, guys. I'm looking for another good setup here. Mackenzie said USO is breaking out right now. It does. Let me bring it up right here. USO is having a nice break out there. Nice climb. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be adding the USO. When I, guys, our 3M trades now up 3%. 3M's taken off. Nice climb there. USO still running there, guys. Facebook's on the climb. GE's still climbing. USO still climbing. As you guys can see here, 3M, look at that break out there. Look at that. Look at the USO. Did you guys see just see that candle on USO? Huge candle there. Walmart's climbing. Walmart's up almost a dollar today. One twenty nine fourteen. Attached the oil tanker detonated in Sirius Afrin. At least ten civilians killed. That is from ten Sirius civilians Sirius. killed a tanker in uh, somewhere. Wherever they said there just blew up. Right? Where was that? Food. Uh, popping here, thirteen dollars thirty. Consumer confidence for April eighty six point nine zero zero eighty six versus eighty seven point nine zero zero. Prior revised one twenty to one eighteen. Bomb attached to oil tanker deton detonated in Syria's Afrin. At least ten civilians killed. Guys, our three M trades in the green, really nice now already. I want to add to that, if, like I said, if we could break that one sixty-five ish. Uh, twenty-two dead, forty wounded in that explosion. Ooh, twenty-two attack. dead, forty some wounded in that uh, attack there. C R E X Charlie. Ron guys, our three M trade is taking off nicely now, up five percent on three M. As you guys can see on three M here. It's holding above that 10-day simple moving average on a today one-minute chart. She's still climbing, taking off. She's at the highs of this breakout momentum phase. 
So here's the phase starting, 1020 cross. She's at the high of that breakout momentum phase here. Joe so continuing to watch that, we're now up 7% on the 3M trade. CREX. USO is still holding above that 10 and looking good. I think what I'm going to do quick while I'm watching the charts, I'm going to order a Starbucks again. Oh, the energy, yeah. Right? You love it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to have to shut that fan off. It's getting chilly. So much you better. Now, now that we opened up this space and we got all these AC vents, <laughs> nice and cold in here now. You're getting chilly? If you're getting chilly, that means I'm, I have frostbite. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> wow, look at that USO taking off. Look at that candle just now. Another big climb there on USO, guys. We're up uh, 300 bucks on our USO trade today alone. 3M up 5%. Continuing to climb. Look at that USO, guys. USO is really taking off here. Malingo 7 now, see, they got some shorter-term expos for the cheaper on 3M. Uh -huh. And in the trade room, they're saying they're up 30% already. Malingo High 007. Risk. Malingo 007 in the trade room says, I'm up 30% on 3M. Nice job, 007. Now, shorter terms is higher Look risk. Look at 3M. I'm up 8% on it. I'm up 200 bucks on the 3M trade already. Nice. A uh, max 6570. I think they got a different uh, expiration date because there's no way they're up 35% with the June 19th expo. I, I'm sure that they probably did the um, shorter term expo there, yeah. probably the May, maybe even this week's expo. Look at that USO just taking off nicely off that 10. She might have a big day today. We might see USO up 10, 15% today. And, and keep climbing. Uh, climbing like I said, from up. now until mid-May. it's going to go higher. From, from now until mid-May, US oil could do anything. You know, Until they get that uh, meeting and they have that deal and we start to see the world open back up, demand's just not there yet. Do you remember yesterday when you were here? What did I tell you? Uh, something that came across the screen. What were they buying to store the freaking fuel? Remember they were buying U.S. vessels to store yes, all the, the fuel? Yes, the U.S. vessels. They, they yes, have yes. no room. Everything's full. Cool. They, the, they were having to buy U.S. vessels just to store the gas and oil. What do you do after I mean, that? Yeah. <laughs> these traders are getting stuck with oil, trading these futures commodities. As now as each state Davidson opens up. Dealers closed internationally. It'll, it'll continue to rise. 3M still holding above that 10. I want to see it break 162. If it could break that 162 on a today one minute chart, good chance we're going to break that 163 and test the highs of the day there. USO still continuing to climb up $300 now on USO for today, up 21%. Reality shares halted at $1.31. You want anything from Starbucks? From no, I'm still oh, you still got Starbucks from this morning? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm addicted to having that. Con but you know what? It makes me feel so bloated. Does it? Yeah. Do you eat anything with it? I don't eat anything with it. No, no I, I can't eat that fast food. Well, I mean, look at what morning? I'm saying. I don't like breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you give me a steak or something in the morning, I'll eat it. Steak but, and eggs? Uh, not. You can cut the eggs out. Just give me a steak. No eggs? <laughs> no. No, I'm not an egg <laughs> fan. <clears throat> GE is still starting to climb here. I want to see GE. I might add to that. CREX Creative. Reality is open now. Charlie Romeo Echo X-Ray CREX. 
GE three month daily. Look yeah, at that, right up to that blue 20 SMA here. If I could see a break, let's say 685, yeah, I'll add to GE. And GE, GE again. Look at USL, economy, big breakout again. Yes. GE we is going to come back as a here. Bullish. Yeah, that GE trade is going to be phenomenal. We're almost up on that GE trade. We're only down 13% on that. And that's And that's got, what, two years until Expo. You know, that's one you're definitely going to want to add to. And Trump as, as put, uh, what, the, um, so that they can help with the ventilators? Yeah. The ventilator company? They're doing a lot. I mean, they, they make, I mean, airplane engines, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, they're so diversified there. They got the new management in place there, the new CEO. I think they're going to turn things around over the next year or so. Looking good. Let's take a look at 3M. 3M still climbing here. Come Crude on. Now at 1332. Crude at 1332. Following that report of an explosion. Of a uh, oil tanker bomb attached to an oil tanker detonated, killing at least 10 civilians. Possibly more from various reports. Hey, did any of you guys get your shirts yet? Oh, yes. Elias. Guys, if you got your shirts, take a picture with it. Share it on our page. I'd love that. I'd love to see that. Look at that nice climb again here on 3M. Guys, take a look how it's holding that 10-day simple moving average on a today one-minute chart there. Unbelievable. Following the trade plan. If you're day trading, there's that 1020 cross on USO. Could have jumped in. You could have made a quick 50% or more if you're trading the weekly expo on USO there. You know, if you're day trading, you're following the trade plan. If you're swing trading, you're following the trade plan. Very simple. Okay, so Seth Garrett says, uh, what's the strike on the GE call? Okay, so we got the 10 strike call for January 21st, 2022. Two years until Expo. I got 50 contracts of that. Uh, right now it's at a dollar by a dollar four. I picked it up for a dollar 19. So I will be adding to that trade. Guys, there goes USO again. Big candle near the highs of the day right now on USO. Continuing that breakout. Uh, 3M's retracing a little bit. Consolidation between the Shares 1020 SMA. Keep an eye on that. PHUN on that press release from the company with that patent news. Uh, hitting a high of 80 cents. Now it's 77 cents up 11% on PHUN. You're getting much better with your charts there. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I'm teaching uh, a friend here how to do the charts. Man, you're the goat. You're the goat with that, man. I wish I could come Yo, back, you're doing come a good job, you. though. You're getting there, brother. I like that. Looking good. Once I get some time, now that we got everything set up, um, we're going to be starting to do classes again later this week. So Ooh, yeah. I got Vince from Pennsylvania signed up. Vinny, He's taking some class. Diego. Uh, Diego, mm -hmm. he's going to be doing a class with me this week. What's up, Diego? And, uh, there's someone else, too. Um, I don't know. There's a few of them, but we'll see how many I can fit on my schedule. GE's now up over 400 bucks for today for us. Nice job on GE. Now, Walmart, let me show you guys what we're looking for Walmart so you guys know exactly what to be looking for with the Walmart trade. So Walmart, if we take a look at the three-month daily chart here, as you guys can see, we're holding up pretty well here at that 127 area, 127.50. So what I'm looking for here, that next climb above that 10 SMA, I'm probably going to be adding to Walmart. Now we have the Walmart May 15th, so we got to be careful. We got about you know a little over two weeks until Expo on the Walmart trade. So keep an eye on that. If we get a candle below 127, I'll be out of that Walmart trade. All right, if we climb above one, let's say 130, a candle above 130, I'm going to be adding to Walmart, okay? 
And if we get a candle above 130, I'll probably do a short-term trade along with a June Expo trade as well. Because I think, guys, I went to Best Buy yesterday. I, I showed you guys videos. I don't long, know if people got their stimulus check or, you know, if this is just a, a pretty wealthy area or what. But there was, there was two lines around Best Buy for cars. They had the cones around. I never saw so That's many cars just uh, just in a drive through for a, you know, a tech company, tech store. For the weekend? I don't know what they were getting. Weekend I mean, they had orders, to get their maybe weekend checks. orders. I mean, the, the cars that were there, I mean, you can tell there's no Rolls Royces or Porsches, you know, but I think it's more people getting their stim checks. Are they rolling those stim checks, like, weekly? How they were no, doing well, they the sent out the first one a couple of weeks ago, and then this week they're sending out the, the last round here. Okay. So, if you didn't get it I the first round, round you should be getting it now. I guess round two. Yeah. The uh, IRS is IRS mandated their employees to come back to work. Yeah. They with, mandated or? With, with masks. They mandated? I, I heard that Some they the were uh, given, hey, uh, it's up to you if you want to come back now. But Some we, of the employees. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad to see things are picking back up, though. Mm -hmm. You know, once we get this economy started again, we're going to see the markets continue to take off. Just like the Diamond ETF. Take a look here at the Diamond. Uh, the Dow. Six-month daily. D-I-A. This is the Diamond ETF here. I mean, we're still continuing to break out from those lows uh, back in the end of March there. So that was pretty much our, our peak. And I think we're going to continue to break out now. The American economy is pretty strong. You know, I mean, the virus definitely yes. gave us a hit. The only thing I'm worried about now is for American companies, publicly traded American companies that do a lot of over business, uh, seize over business overseas. Mm -hmm. Obviously, other countries, I don't think they're going to come back as well as we did. No, they're... And, um, look at USO. Big break. You guys see that candle there on USO? Nice break out again on USO. Struggle amid pandemic. Now, um, now, what, now what's Jones really going to be on Airbnb host affected is how do we... You know, all these mom and pop, shops, pop, mom and pop shops that are no longer going to be in business. Like, there was, a, there was this restaurant down my neighborhood in Coral Springs... Metro Diner, love that restaurant. They have probably the best chicken and waffles. Yeah. They, I mean, they have an amazing, it's like <laughs> strawberry jelly. I mean, it's really good. Yeah. Specifically going there for that. And it was a small chain. They announced this past week that they're permanently shutting down their business really? in South Florida. They have about wow. four or five locally. And they were actually good? And they were really good. Really good. Wow. It, 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 it's going to hurt. We're going to... As soon as the economy is open, we're not going to see these businesses existing anymore, forever. You know what though? You know what they say: on with the old and in with the new. You know, it's just the cycle of life. You know. And what did we talk about yesterday? Macy's and J.C. Penney's. Oh, they're definitely going to be going under. Leading that pack. Yeah. No how long do you? How long that. do you see Macy's standing around? Uh, Macy's, I could see for about up two to years? two years. Yeah. Max. Yeah. J.C. Penney's is going to be gone within the next year, I think. Is Sears still around? What's that? <laughs> Sears. Are they still around? Sears? Yeah. Sears is still around, but they'll be closing as well. They closed a lot of their stores. A big hedge fund manager came in and bought Sears. Okay. Look at that USO climb in there, guys. You watching USO? Oil is still... coming right back. Oh, look at that candle on USO. Like what I see there. 3M retraced a little bit here. Exxon Mobil, Brian Sane. Take a look at Exxon Mobil, guys, quick. High of the day. Is it? 45. Anyone 45. still in that Exxon Mobil trade? Now, there's the thing. You got your first candle above the 50 SMA on a, on a daily chart here for Exxon Mobil. Now, you're going to have 60 bucks. Well, first, you're going to have around $50 as your target, okay? $50. Now, see, this is what I should do. I should jump in and do something for the July Expo on Exxon Mobil. You know, cuz you know she's going to continue to climb, you know. Summertime. I mean, people Economy's are opening yeah, up. the economy opening back up. Look at now there's put sweeps coming in on Macy's there. They're picking up the Macy's they heard January us. <laughs> 2022 $3 strike puts on Macy's. Wow. That's they unbelievable. Look at USO continuing to climb there. Big climb on USO. 
Now let's take a look at Exxon Mobile, the option chain here, see if we could find a nice yeah, setup. Video oh, I forgot to order my coffee. I have to order that soon here. XOM. XOM and, and cruise lines. Dr. Reeves had mentioned that the cruise lines are up as well. Yeah, uh, I don't think P. Uh, I, I don't think the cruise. Uh, yeah, the cruise lines. They we actually have the there. RCL. We're up forty percent on RCL today. But I don't not. think that they're booking. They're just hype that the economies are opening up. Guys, if you guys want to get our newsletter or anything, text trade alerts to 22828. That's P F A N M Y L. So Exxon Mobil here. If I'm looking at the let's say July 17th. I like the July 17th a little bit better. That's going to give enough states to open. We'll see the uh, the demand for crude to start to climb again. So if we pick up the 45 strike, I mean, look at how expensive they are though. I mean, that's you, you need this literally at, you know, 55 bucks to uh, to have a double there. Big drop there on USO, so I'm not even going to look at ExxonMobil yet. Wait till that stabilizes. Might be entering into BDM now for the day after that big climb on oil. Retracing back down to that 50. I th Reeves, Dr. Reeves, I think uh, the market's just climbing today on uh, the thought of the some of the states opening back up here and the economy opening back up. <coughs> I think that's what we're seeing today, which is good. I just hope it's not premature, you know, yeah. opening up everything up. Scary. Yeah. yeah. They said if we get another round, it's going to be worse than the first. I want to know out of the 11 states <coughs> that opened up, which have peaked already. Are they opening up pre-peak? Well, they, or they have a lot of them that are still are climbing crying? that are opening up. And that's why Trump was getting upset with that. You know, but uh, what are you going to do? And this is up to us. I'm staying indoors until a vaccine. Yeah. The governor is not going to... <laughs> Help me out when I catch COVID. <laughs> oh, I know. It's gonna. It's our responsibility to act accordingly. Parks in um, parks in, in South in uh, two counties in yeah. Broward and Miami Dade are opening up. Are they? What about yeah. the beach? You're down there no by beaches. Miami. No, no beaches. beaches yet. Still no beaches. Facebook is still pulling back here. I'm down 700 bucks on Facebook today. That should get a nice climb, though. Not worried about that. It's for the June Expo. Man, once the beaches start opening up, that's going to be nice. People be getting on with life. Economy start picking up again. Then there's gonna going to be some really good opportunities. Oh, I can't Coming wait for that charter. We're going to be going. I wonder if they're getting some uh, yellowfin tuna yet. For April. Or snapper. I want some snapper. Yeah. Oh, I love snapper. Yeah. Yesterday was amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that was a good experience, great. right? That was nice, yeah. I've been to Whole Foods a couple times, but I never. I just um, I just went in and got a couple groceries. I never saw their big buffet thing like they had there. Oh. Uh, Total disappointment. You got to go when it's when it's when open. Yeah, Trump it's open. Can hold a news conference Amazing. at eleven thirty. Oh, I know. I'm and sure. Pizza I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna like that. that. The <laughs> pizza House. gave heartburn though. Yeah. Still have that today. Still. Look, Look at the breaking news, news on the uh, on TV. Nice. We pulled back a little bit though. So on CNBC, they're saying 3M CEO on working with the White House. 
They're talking about that now on CNBC. As you guys can see, ExxonMobil is getting a climb there off that 50 SMA. Take a look at USO as well. I've been watching that. Look at how perfect that consolidation box is right now on USO the there. Jinko Solar hearing Let's Uber see if we could get climb. That Abu Dhabi is in talks with EDF and Jinko to install a huge solar farm. That's Julia Kilo Sandy, JKS. I'm going to order another double shot on Shares from Jingle Starbucks. Solar, you mind that? Bouncing here, 1566. Uh, no. Again, uh, Bloomberg says Abu Dhabi in talks with EDF and Jinko Solar. You know, I'm going to get a caramel macchiato. I'm Fox diabetic, but macchiato. I like those. Shares those are Jingle pretty good. Solar now at 1568, trading just about flat. JKS. Man, no wonder why I'm gaining so much weight. 600 calories in one of these? I'm drinking two or three a day. We're doing our walk today. We got to go for a walk. Let's do our walk, our power walk. Yeah. Watching Exxon Mobil here. It's looking like a nice entry. If it could break above that 45 again. Hey, what do you think about the banks with the reopening of the economy? I think banks are going to suffer for a little bit longer. Banks, I was, I was actually talking to someone about that yesterday. Um, actually, Jeff Walker called too. He had a two hundred percent gain on that. DJ PayPal Jeff trade. Walker. Yeah, Jeff Walker, KRZ, had that nice gain. Jeff, are you with us right now? 3M's not a day trade, Lone Warrior, no. Uh, day trades are not that far out. If I was day trading, I'd get the shortest expiration date as possible. I have the uh, June 19th, 165 call. Guys, take a look at Walmart. Walmart's really breaking out nicely now too, getting right back up to that 10 SMA. Uh, it's getting right up to 130 again. says working with DOD to double- Exxon Mobil's breaking above that 1020 SMA there. Take a look at that. USO is still in consolidation. That usually lags a little bit behind, uh, you know, Exxon Mobil there. But keep a look, keep an eye on that. That's Michael, Michael, Michael. AbV option alert, May 15th, 74 strike puts. Bed Bath and Beyond, they're buying the put. Now that's another one too. Bed B Bath and Beyond. I think that one's going to be going under. They Did were they strugg struggle? they were struggling before. They're they're like a one stop shop though. I think they would be sustainable. You think you so? You could buy anything in there. That's like a mini Walmart. With I good know. Prices. It's pretty nice. Like yeah, mini, I've, been, I've been there. I used to work there, too. You used to yeah, work there? College. Yeah. I loved it. It was fun. Did you really? Yeah. Get environment, great. 3 m says for so a significant yeah. deceleration yeah. in America's. I can't and wait until some of these stores open. You know, like when you're a, when you're told, "Hey, you can't do something," it makes you want to do it so much more. Yeah. You know, so now it's just like I can't wait to for everything to open up and go shopping. Mm -hmm. and that's Michael, mm -hmm. Michael, Michael. You know, like Best Buy, they have the curbside pickup. That's just not the same. You know, <sighs> I gotta, I gotta I see gotta things. I have to yeah. be in there, play with it. Yeah, me too. I don't like that. Look at that. Walmart's still climbing here. Like you want to buy that computer. But you want to test it out. Exactly. You want to, you know, especially before you spend three grand yeah. on something like that. It's like, you know, at least let me test it. You know? Tango Echo Charlie Kilo. Seeing repeat 
sweeps now in tech T E C K. Shares of tech resources getting a little pop off of that activity, T E C K. Okay, 3M says seeing some improvements in 3M. Asia Pacific, most notably in China. There's a climb on Exxon Mobil there, big climb. Big candle. Mike Roman, chairman and CEO of 3M. Dallas Fed services revenues minus 65.4, Texas services sector outlet minus 81.7. That's for April. Plus Walmart looking right. Oh, watching, Walmart looking right. Yeah, I'm watching Walmart right here. I just said it got up back up to that 10 right around 130. If it breaks above that 130 tomorrow, I'm probably going to add to my Walmart trade. 3M just not doing too much just yet. Still looking good though on a daily chart. ExxonMobil, the SMAs are converging. Nice to have you guys back. Did you guys miss us yesterday? John L. Hansen says, can you check out PayPal? John L., are you still in our regular PayPal trade that we made two weeks ago? That's the one Jeff Walker closed out for a, a nice gain. Nice job, Robert Clark. Qualcomm earnings are usually after the bell there, Scott Williams. PayPal. Wow, look at that breakdown on PayPal. He got out at the perfect timing PayPal, yesterday. Just look at the newsletter. Downgrade. Yep, PayPal big, is downgraded. Big names. Big names today. Guys, you guys got to start getting our newsletter. Everything is on this newsletter for you sent, guys. It was sent out, sent out before the market's so open. So we could go over that says, quick. The upgrades were Quest Diagnostics, get, ticker symbol DGX. It was uh, upgraded by Morgan Stanley from equal weight to overweight and uh, price target of 139 Quest Diagnostics launched consumer-initiated COVID-19 Antibody test through Quest Direct. PFE files so that's the big news that's impact, impact well, Let's take a look. DGX. I think um, PayPal is going to further PFE retrace Pfizer. down to about 115 there, Janelle. Let me take a look at Quest there quick, Diego. DGX. Now spiking here. BDM. Huh? BDM. On what? DGX. DGX def uh, on a today one minute chart, absolutely. But on a three month daily, she's probably going to spike much higher there. Everyone's going to be getting those tests and the volume that's coming in. I could see that retracing back down to maybe 105. And then if that retraces down to 105, I'd enter for Quest. Now take a look at USO here. Th now, guys, tell me. What cycle is that on USO? E. On USO there, if you're looking at it today, one minute. Oh, from, today, one minute. From 1022 AM to where we're at right now, what is that? BDM. What is that there, though? From 1020? 1020 till now. White House, 10 White House advisor has no trade zone. On CNN no trade zone. Consolidation. Look at that. You could draw that code. consolidation and box. I hate how these boxes are. Oh, I know. CNN. That's just from the volume. Ford, Ford as well is too. one like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ford was in the news, too. Ford got, um. Ford was upgraded? No. Let's there was some news with Ford today. Ross Stores was upgraded to 108 a share. RST, let's see. ROST. Wow, that's at 95 bucks now. Take a look at the three-month daily. 
I, everything's starting to climb again, you know, with the market opening back up. I mean, isn't that crazy, though, how, how it's not that far off the highs, you know, Ross stores. And the store's been closed for two months now. I mean, tell me, does that make sense to you? It does not. It does not. It does not, not make sense. Alrighty, Ross stores. If that starts breaking out, though, I mean, we're opportunists here, so we'll definitely trade it. Let's see, Six Flags, SIX. Oh, that's starting to climb off those lows there. That's that's SPG a nice one enter for opening, long term. Do a leap on Six Flags. Six that's Flags, Great bad. America. Yeah. You ever been to Six Flags? Oh, I was there when I was younger. We had we had those. We had, well in Pennsylvania we had that uh, we had Dorney Park. Yeah, Dorney Park. That was right next door to you, right? Uh, well, that's a, like an hour and a half Five away. Hour. You remember uh, Dorney Park, Knobles? Knobles. Uh, what's the other one? Um, Hershey. Yeah, the Hershey no, Park was next to me. Yeah, I was there yeah. all the time. It's like really? twenty minutes away. Yeah. See, I, I just I, I don't like going to things like that. You know, it's for the kids. You can do yeah, it for the kids now. Yeah. And but, the, and if you never had it before and you were curious, now you have an excuse to go again. Yeah, you know what? It. You're right. I gotta start going back on those roller coasters. We gotta take again. you to Universal across the street. Ah. Uh. Look at Groupon up another seven and a half percent today. Remember that was just at what sixty cents, and it's now at a dollar thirty-five. That's a good one to pick up shares of and just hold on to for a bit. Because if anything, if these businesses need to drum up more business, they're going to be going to people they like need Groupon. Discount for now. Yeah. They and need it right and now. now consumers they want to save some money because they haven't been working. So of course they're going to be going to Groupon. Easy, you know. I mean, what would, what would you, what would you trade, trade idea? Be on? I'd buy shares of it. It's a freaking dollar. It's a buck. Look at it. I mean, it just had the ten twenty cross. Look at Groupon. I mean, this really looks like this is really going to take off. It actually had earnings today. I think that's why it was up. Did you check, check out the earnings on Groupon DCK today? Continuing higher now. Check right oh, now. Oh, Seven percent off of those. Repeat call sweeps in TECK Tech Resources. Hey guys, uh, yeah, they're saying BCA meetup at Universal. We got to do that. Actually, it's we were talking right about that. Street. It's literally right across like, the street. You, like you could look you at here. it. Out like, no, like literally, like you park here and you can walk across. The yeah, street. you could yeah. park at our like parking lot, walk away. across the street. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What were we talking about yesterday, though? I, we wanted to go over Universal, see if they could do a the package production. deal. Yeah. And uh, say, hey, you know, the families, if you guys want to come down, uh, you'll get a free training session with us. If Drop you, the family off across the street. Yeah. And, and come do train a, with a us free training with, with us for like a, an hour or two, three. I'm sure that will go good yeah, with the we family. we got to talk to someone there. Get the two-day package. That would be awesome. Now the SMAs were starting to converge on USO. Now there's your first candle breaking below that consolidation box. So I'm expecting a, a further breakdown here on USO. And then we could look at 215 as the next support on USO. Let's take a look here. Man, I want to do something with that group on there. Let me, I'm going to keep that up. So take a look at USO. This is what I was talking about. Here was that consolidation box, right? We were talking about on USO. First candle below that consolidation box was at 1036. And then I was just looking at the other chart here while I was just telling you it was breaking down and I expected to get it down to about 215. I think that's going to continue to drop to about 215, which is going to be the next support area on USO. So you can see how when you're watching these charts here, you can see here's a perfect consolidation box. Your first candle below the consolidation box. Uh, uh, is signifying a further break down there and you see it breaking below that 10 SMA and going down to support next supports right around 215 two dollars fifteen cents you see zoom breaking break broke the 50 Zoom mm -hmm. has it. Let's take says a look. U.S. debt levels down are definitely a concern, but not likely um, bottom, the right maybe. time to tackle during a crisis. Zoom's looking nice there for a swing. Drop down hard, three percent. 
It's holding above that 10 SMA on a daily, three month daily. I'd probably give it another day. To recover from Facebook? <laughs> yeah. What now, an announcement by Facebook. That was Friday, After a right? Good day. That After was a heck Zoom, of a day. Zoomed in the morning, Facebook went ahead and said, nope, not so fast. Hold my beer. I know, right? <laughs> that was a heck of a day. Um, what did we do? We traded uh, Zoom, and then we Zoom, were traded and Facebook. for Facebook. I think we're like 8 for 10 out of that day. We made like 10 trades. We're 8 for 10, I think. Yeah. The two losses were, were profit losses. Mr. Elephant says he's in Orlando. Where are you at in Orlando, Mr. Elephant? Crude now pulling back from the highs, spiked earlier on a report of an explosion. Yes, Mr. Elephant, we're right by Miller's. Ooh, that sounds good. Some wings for lunch today. Or should I start my diet today? Yeah, we can start it tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's yeah. another day. Got to get those wings in. Let's see, USO up 200, GE's up 400 for the day. Facebook and 3M right now retracing a bit. Hurting a little bit on 3M and Facebook today, but like I said, we got the June Expos on the both of those. So. Tech resources off the high now at seven. Mackenzie, three M is a June nineteenth expo. So take a look at three M here. You're not going to get stopped out of a trade the day you make the trade here. You know, like I said, I could I could see this pulling back further here, maybe down to one fifty five, but I expect this to continue to climb. So that's why I said that before. Our stops below. What did I say? Our stop was at. I'm 155, right? Below, first candle below. Yeah. A first candle below, not intraday, at the end of the day. Can you explain that a little bit? Candle so below. Guys, so guys, markets move up and down all day. That's, that's what the markets do. Supply and demand. It's very simple. Okay, so it might be at the lows right now of the day and then start to climb by the end of the day. If we're in a swing trade, all we care about where it ends the day, that candle. So that's what I mean. When you're in a swing trade... Like our June, look at the end of the day. Don't matter. Don't care what it does intraday. You know, we care about swing XLA, trades, the XLA daily candles at the end of the day. Stock. Now, if we were day trading, then I absolutely care about what it does intraday. And I'm watching that tick by tick, minute by minute, following the trade plan. Yes. That's for day trades. That's if you're looking at a today one minute chart. If you're looking at a daily chart... Like I said, and if you're following our trade plan, all you care about is what happens at the end of the day, how that candle looks there. And I think a lot of us newer traders, or well not us, new yeah. traders do get a little worried when they when they make a, a swing trade and then micromanage it yeah. on an intraday That's the level. biggest thing. They and they're looking, at it, they're looking at the one minute one and then, minute chart. Yeah, and then they're they're disciplined. They get undisciplined, you know. And then they get they wired lack up. discipline there. Yep. They go, oh my God, it's pulling against me. What the heck do I do here? We're looking for and then the plans. next day it pops. And they'll sell it today and they'll say, oh, you know, crap, I should have I should have held it. The next couple of days it starts to climb. Exactly. You know, you got to follow that trade plan. Exactly. Now back to Groupon here. I really want to make a trade on Groupon. I think that's going to continue to run. Did you look at Groupon earnings or anything up there? Ragu, yes, with that, but with the USO trade, but we have a, a leap there. Doesn't expire for a year. And I've been going along every single day saying, hey, this is what we're looking for with USO. We have a big event coming in it's May. Event. Yeah, and of course the economy is gonna be opening back. Do you guys see, here's a perfect analogy. You see what the stock market did, right? Everything was shut down, the stock market dropped. Now there's signs, hey, Couple United states, states opening open, back up, and we're seeing the markets take off here. Demand. Same thing is going to happen with oil. You know, once the once the markets start to open, the demand is there again. You know, people are traveling cars. again. People are using cars. Summer. You know, everything. It's going to start to uh, increase. Uh, oil is going to pick back up here. We're going to see the prices at the pump continue to climb, and then USO is going to take off, and it's going to probably take off big there. So they said there's a big echo. There shouldn't be an echo there, Kurt. 
Do you guys still hear an echo? Mr. Elephant says he's in Windermere. Oh, that's right next door, isn't it? Yeah, we're we're right here. Actually, one of our one of our friends lives in Windermere. Mr. Elephant, shoot me a message on uh, Facebook. No echo. Kurt was probably watching from the beginning there where there was a, an echo in the beginning. White House's Hassett says, right now is not the time to tackle U.S. debt levels, <laughs> but says debt <laughs> is a definitely a concern. <laughs> Feds are meeting this week too, today yeah. and tomorrow. They're not going to do anything. I don't think they cut the rates. No. Anymore, especially with reopening. They leave it at is. Russia's Putin says new cases of coronavirus have stabilized. Well, that's good to hear. Walt Disney 120 strike puts coming in. Disney. Groupon 128. Walmart still hanging around that 10 SMA on a daily chart. CREX, Creative Realities, more new highs of $2.15, up 113% now on CREX. Should be no echo, guys. Charlie Romeo, Echo X ray. Uh, Putin says Russia has not reached the peak of coronavirus yet. Guys, hit that like button for us, please. I'd appreciate that. Hit that like button. 38 likes and 170 viewers. Hit that like. So you hear an echo right now when my voice gets louder. Is that what you're saying? Is this supposed to be on mono? Turn mono. Yeah, I think it has to be on mono. Should be good, guys. Walmart getting another big pop there again. Walmart today, one minute. Look at Walmart here. Let's see. MOSY, Moses getting a pop here to the high. Look at that climb on Walmart there. Yankee. 1020. Climbing back up. Look for 129.90 on Walmart there. Nice climb on Walmart here, guys. There goes Walmart taking off again. Let's see a break above resistance for the day for that continued climb. Ooh, Starbucks is here. NGO, Fionano Genomics popping to the high. Low price stock, Bravo, November Golf, Oscar. There goes Walmart breaking the resistance of the day. 
Governor Cuomo to speak at 12.15 p.m. Nice climb on Walmart, breaking the day's high. And there she goes taking off. You mind getting that? She's downstairs uh, with the Starbucks coffee, waiting to get in. Our building's still on lockdown, guys, so can't get in that. Look at Walmart taking off there. Walmart's breaking resistance. Let's see her continue to take off there, break above 130. Walmart trades now up 200 bucks for the day. GE's up 400. USO's up 200. Walmart is looking good there. Let me see what Facebook is doing on this other chart. Putin tells government to prepare recommendations by May 5th, May 5th on gradual easing of coronavirus related measures in Russia. Alrighty, thank you for that. I'll keep my uh, I'll keep my mouth closer to the microphone here. Really want to do something with Groupon, guys. I think we have WTRA quite a bit to make on Groupon. I mean, I definitely think this is going back up to two bucks a share. You know, Groupon's a pretty nice setup there for a longer term setup, longer term trade. You're still holding on to Halliburton, Robert? Let me see how. BA Boeing faces criminal and civil inquiries into 737 MAX production, according to sources reported by Dow Jones, previously known MAX probes. Wow, so Boeing's. Problems that from Dow wow, Jones look at the breakout on Walmart BA there, Boeing. guys. Huge breakout on Walmart. Alpha. Look at that Walmart trade looking great. Here we go, guys. We got our Starbucks delivery. Did you, that girl's name. Did, did you see her name? No. Her name is You Smelly. <laughs> Boeing finds I, I debris in roughly half of 737 max really? jets inspected, it. according to a spokesperson. FAA complimented, uh, contemplating a fine and other enforcement that actions against funny. Boeing. Prosecutors and regulators investigating Boeing production Time issues on the 737 max. Time to meet You Jones, Smelly. <laughs> <Boeing>. <laughs> That's a funny name. I like that. You smelly. I gotta give her an extra tip. Actually, let me give her a good tip for the day. You smelly was you pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shares of Boeing on those headlines are uh, dropping here now. 131.17. Boeing. <laughs> You're a single man now. Again, Dow Jones says Boeing there. facing criminal and civil inquiries into 737 Max production issues with debris found in roughly half of 737 MAX jets inspected, according to sources. DA Boeing now at $131. Oh, that's really sweet. Hit a high of $137.20 wow. earlier. DA look Boeing. at Walmart still running. Let's take a look. Uh, guys, now, they were asking about Halliburton. Halliburton looks like this is going to have a big break. Uh, you know, we should make a Halliburton trade. We love Halliburton. Yeah, we made some good money on that. Mm -hmm. All right, so Going trade idea. Trade idea. 40. How? To pull back here now, pulling under do I want to do how now or wait till tomorrow? What do you think? I think we should give it another day, see if oil retraces here. Economies are opening up. Yeah, that's true. It is at the lows of the day, though. It really pulled back. I think. I think. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't get into up. that until we enter in the breakout Dow moments Jones and get on a date. Yeah. One minute. It's it's in big BDM right now. It's in consolidation for the past three candles. Systems. Look at Walmart. Walmart's heading for one thirty one today. Walmart. DOJ prosecutors and federal air safety regulators have been scrutinizing potentially significant safety problems stemming from seven thirty seven Max production missteps. Coming back from the dead. <coughs> is the caramel macchiato supposed to be that sweet? Shake it, shake it, shake it. You got it. 
Yeah, look at that breakout lot. You don't have. Yeah. Look at Walmart. Wow. Wow. Keep oh, there's chunks of caramel or yeah, something. Yeah, you gotta keep shaking it. That is sweet. You're not mixed up properly. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get straight sugar. I'm definitely not messed up properly. <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling over there. Yeah. That Walmart chart looks so good today. Take a look at that Walmart chart right there today, guys. Big break out there from about 10 a.m. 10 a.m. broke that 128.75. So had a nice dollar dollar fifty climb. I saw, I saw a neighbor, the one that's always telling us to close the door, quick, keep it down. Mm. Saw In him the up the elevator, here? coming up the elevator. He's like, "Hey, you know, I'm sorry about all that, but you know, I'm actually happy you guys are." You know, you guys, you know, business is booming, you know, things like that, because I'm a business lawyer, you know, there's testing, not a lot of businesses which one, that are man? yelling. The, uh, the, right yeah. the Indian lawyer no, or the, the other steel, steel fabricator? The steel fabricator. And, and what did he say? He was like, hey, you know, I don't mean to, you know, um, you know, I don't mean to uh, come over to you guys and say, hey, you guys are loud or anything like that, because he comes maybe once or twice a day. But he's like, you know what, I really enjoy you guys being loud and, you know, because business is booming for you guys, and that's a great thing, you know. I'm a business lawyer, so I'm seeing a lot of He's a business lawyer? Yeah. Really? That's what he said. That guy down there? Mm -hmm. I need some contracts made up. Maybe I'll go down to him. Right. He's like, keep it up. What's his name, Steve? Steve. He's a steel fabricator and a lawyer, huh? The guy that always tells us to quiet down every single day. <laughs> you got the door shut now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Especially they come when here every day. Hey guys, rally. They they come in. They say, "What's that rubbing sound? <laughs> yeah. I hear some hands rubbing." Yeah. <laughs> you well, guys are doing rally. way too much hand rubbing lately. Are you guys at a horse horse track? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a trade on Halliburton and Groupon next, I think. Trade idea. Hal trade and idea. Groupon. So that's going to be our next trade. I'll give you guys, how about this? So it's almost 11. Should I end the day with giving them the trade idea that we're thinking about making on these two? So that way they could watch it and see what it does over the next day or over the next, uh, yeah, rest of the day here. Let's do, let's do a trade idea. Post it, in, post it into our... Yeah, Bring in our system, yep. Perfect. All righty, so guys, how about this? So we'll, we'll leave it up to you guys because I like both of them here. I think uh, Groupon would be a longer-term trade, though. I think that one we'd probably do the 20-22 Expo for. Um, Hall Halliburton, because I, I think Groupon is going to be an easy double, even if you own the shares of it. I was thinking about just putting twenty five thousand dollars into some shares of Groupon. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean that's not going anywhere. I mean people are gonna be using that, that's gonna continue to get a spike. I was thinking about putting twenty five grand into shares, but then I also thought, you know what, maybe if I just put some five uh, put five thousand into some calls for twenty twenty two, that could have an easy three hundred percent return. And more I'm leveraged. only tying I'm only tying up about five thousand instead of twenty five thousand. And I could have a bigger return with that five thousand compared to that twenty-five thousand, you know, because if Groupon gets back up to a four or five bucks, that's gonna, that's going to be a, a thousand percent right there. Options is the way to go. Yeah. Options is totally the way to go. So and what's your max loss? What, you have uh, what, what would your max loss be by buying the options? Max is what you have invested. And what's your max loss on buying the shares? What you have invested. Who knows? Yeah. What if it goes to zero? And, and you'll have your max loss. <laughs> That's your max loss, loss, right? But at least you know your set number for the options. Yeah. You, you know your max PHI loss on options. Higher they're, well, they're, bo they're both set, though. They're bo they both have their predefined. But it, it's more of like, okay, what do you want to do? You want to tie up a big chunk of money in shares and hold that? Or do you want to have the option? And you're much more leveraged with options. You know, you have that. If the, if the stock doubles, yeah, you would have doubled your 25 grand. Made 20, but if the stock doubles with those calls and she's now at three dollars, that dollar fifty strike is now you know you're 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 up close to a thousand percent. That's a no brainer. So no it's like, okay, what do I want to do here? So do I want the Halliburton? Which I think if I did the Halliburton, let's take a look at the option chain for Halliburton quick. 
So if I did the Halliburton trade, what I'm going to be doing, looking at that, I'd probably go out to the, I want to go out to the, you know, let's say January 2021. That gives us plenty of time for oil to rebound. That looks great. And the beautiful thing about that, the nine strike call is only going for $2.41. That's cheap. So nine plus 2.41. So at 11.41 is your break even. Plus, what did I say, 2.41? So at 13.82, you make a double. You, you have a 100% return. Now write that down in the alert. Say, hey, you know, at 13.82 with these calls, we have a 100% return. It's at $9.11 now. It's up 2.5% for the day. Let's take a look at the Halliburton three-month daily, six-month daily chart here, and let's take a look. So we have short term at 10 bucks, and then the second res uh, resistance is gonna be right at about $13. So if we get up to 13 bucks there, I mean, there's there's your double with these, uh, with these calls for January 2021. And not only do you have the economy opening up, but now with There's going this far out planet. with the expo, X we have winter as well. The virus Obviously, more you know, being burned. More, yeah. There's going to be more demand for fuel products, and uh, we should see that continue to rise. I think we've seen the the, the lowest point here for oil prices. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be dropping any further. They cut production, so what they have is what they have as the economies open up. You know, if you got this, say this is your gas now, the economy opens up and everyone's taking gas, oil, uh, you know, they're buying Demand's products. Gonna go higher. Think about this too. When they're buying beauty supplies, that's crude oil. That, that's part of the byproduct of refineries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, there's going to be more demand for the product, more demand for crude, and, uh, and we're going to see that continue to climb. Yeah. You know, I really think the past is behind us here with the lows of oil. I think we're just going to continue to climb, and I think that's going to be something we have to take major advantage of here over the next year or two. And here's the thing, though. A lot of people say, well, I want a short-term trade. It doesn't mean we have to keep it until January would be met. If she has a big pop here, and you guys know how we do this, if she has a big pop over the next week, I'd sell it over the next week. You know, you don't have to hold it till 2021. You can sell it whenever you want to sell it. And if you still think it's bullish, stay on there long term. Reinvest. Either you hold it, you sell some of your contracts. Before you even enter into the trade, you should say, here's where I'm going to take my first portion of my profit. Here's where I'm going to take my second portion. Or here, depending on the size of the trade. You've got to plan the trade. Always plan the trade. Mm-hmm. Walmart's breaking above that 1020 there. Let's see if she can get that candle above that 1020 on a today one minute chart. So now going back to Halliburton. And like I said, looking at that chart, 1250, $13, that's gonna be our target resistance. And you see what it did here from March 18th just to April 9th, it went from $4 up to 10. You know, so from $4 to 10, that's over a double. That's 150% return in less than a month. So if less than a month, the stock more than double, and it's at nine bucks now, that could easily get back up to 20 bucks. You know, I mean, easily back up to 15. That gets up to 15 bucks. That's gonna be a massive gain and thinking of it, we could get the 10 strike call here for a little bit cheaper, $1.97, a little bit more open interest. That's what I do. And you know what? I'm gonna do a trade on it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a trade, start a small trade on it. I'll do the Halliburton. I will do the, let's see what the 2022 Expo is going for for the 10 strike. That's going for about two, let's say 295 and so it's a dollar more for that if we go another year out. Do we want the January 2021 or the January 2022? I think 2021 is going to be plenty. So we'll pick up the 10 strike call for January 15, 2021. That's going for, we can pick that up for about two bucks. And I'll get 10 contracts. That'll be a $2,000 trade for now. We'll add to it as the time goes on here. So placing that trade call. Uh, call January 15th, 10 strike call, and that was just executed as you can see here. New smart alert, by 10 hell, January 15th, 2021, 10 strike call, and we were filled at $1.99.
199, are you out of your mind? So there's our trade on Halliburton. And like I said, um, I expect to double this trade. If it breaks $10, I'm going to add another probably 10 to 20 contracts to this trade. Let's add that into that alert as well. If it breaks above 10 bucks, I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be at least doubling that position. What's your target in the stops? Our, our first target's going to be $13, and second target's going to be $17.50. 1750 stop our stop is going to be uh, candle below eight that's a really nice risk to reward ratio there we're already up now two percent on our Halliburton trade it's it's cheap enough to be a trade challenge would you uh that's a great uh, trade challenge cheap. trade there it is but I want to wait until it breaks above. If it breaks above 10, then I'm going to send another trade challenge trade on it. I'll make a second trade on it. Right now, I want to see it break 10. 10. So we can put in that uh, letter, too, that right. we're sending out. Say, hey, if it breaks above 10, uh, we're going to make a second trade Official on it. Trade it's going to be a trade challenge trade. And then that's when I'll probably do a larger trade on it as well. Already up 3% on that Halliburton trade now. It is after 11, guys, so I'm going to get signed off here. I want to get some things ready uh, to do my classes this week. So I'm going to be in the trade room, and then we're going to be live again at 2 p.m. And if you guys aren't signed up with us yet, go to www.breakingchartalerts.com. We're going to be in the trade room for right now. If you guys want to go in, go in there, sign up, click join now. And, uh, and you guys can get signed up for the Professional Trader 12-month yearly course. This 12-month yearly course is going to include classes. This is going to be text alerts for you on all of our trades, um, email alerts on all of our trades, and access to classes, the afternoon trading videos. You can only get access to the afternoon trading videos with this. So if you guys want to sign up, Professional Trader 12-month course here, you could sign up, go to our website, and uh, we'll, we'll see you there. Our afternoon class will be right here, live trading video and classes. And that'll be right here. It's scheduled today for 2 p.m. And uh, we will see you there, guys. Looking good. See trade guys. alerts here. If you guys want to look at our trade alerts, you could go there, check them out. Live trade room. And then our breaking chart alerts page, guys. Uh, that got a nice little redo here. And we're going to have more coming soon. So here you go. If you guys want to sign up, www.breakingchartalerts.com. Our newsletter is out for today. And, uh, and we will see you guys in the afternoon here. Alrighty, guys. Take care. God bless. Have a great day. And uh, I will see you guys at 2 p.m. Make sure you guys get signed up. Alrighty. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.